Well, I think they're both very strong, very good heritage brands in their own market, and they're both very known for the health and beauty space in which they operate. And that makes them very compatible in terms of the products they sell. And of course, from that, you get savings as a result of operational things, but also because of economies of scale, because essentially they're buying the same things to sell. So there's a lot of savings and indeed a lot of learnings that can be brought by bringing these two firms together. Well, you know and I know that in this game, timing is everything. It's perhaps it's a little bit more than coincidence that Walgreens is going for this at a time that it's experiencing a sales slump at home. So presumably, Boots should help to mitigate that. Well, I don't think we should read too much into that. I think these things are planned quite a long time in advance. There would have been a lot of discussions. And, of course, this is looking very much... Um, forward over the next five to ten years in terms of a strategy for bringing these two things together. But there's undoubtedly a positive story in there for cost savings because everyone's sales are under pressure and one of the things that all retailers are trying to do, whether they be in the US or in the UK, is extract savings and by bringing two companies that are similar together and getting bigger economies of scale in terms of buying, that really does help ease up margins over the longer term. So there is a win for both parties in this. Is there also a win for Walgreens in terms of the price? In other words, are they paying the right amount or perhaps uh, getting this for a bit of a steal? No, I think they're paying a fair price um, for boots. I don't think they're paying anything that's too toppy and I don't think they are paying an underweight price either. I think that this is a very fair price that reflects the market value of Boots today. It reflects the fact that obviously Boots has got very good potential growth going forwards and it reflects the size and scale of the business as it stands today. So I think it is a reasonable price and I think it wouldn't have gone ahead unless all parties, including the investors in Boots, felt it was a reasonable price. So I'd say it's, it's about right. Right. Time's running tight, so I'm going to cheat a bit and give you two questions in one. <laughs> First, will the Boots consumer notice a difference? And secondly, are we likely to see more M&A in this sector as a result of this deal? Um, I don't think we'll see a tremendous amount of M&A. I think there's still some, but it is on the wane still, it is not a massive amount in the market. I didn't actually hear the first question, I'm afraid. Well, so... the first question, very briefly, was the Boots consumer, will he or she notice a difference once this, this, this deal completes? No, not at all. I think most of the things will be behind the scenes. You won't start seeing Walgreens popping up on the high street in the UK. It's not that type of deal.